This is the race briefing for the road cycle for the 2012 Total Sports Challenge. The road cycle is a very, very difficult leg to manage and we need the cooperation of not only the cyclists but also of all the support vehicles along the route. It is very, very difficult to get permission to use this section of the road for the event and we need everyone's cooperation to ensure that the event goes smoothly and safely. The most important point on the road cycle is that cyclists are not allowed to ride two abreast. They must follow single file along the route between Gordons Bay and Royals. The Gordons Bay to Royals section is a very sensitive area. It's an extremely narrow road and there's lots of traffic on the road and with the event vehicles, the cyclists and traffic, general traffic coming in the opposite direction, it's really, really important that everybody takes care um, so that nothing goes wrong. Apart from single file cycling by the cyclists themselves, it is absolutely against the rules that seconding vehicles ride alongside or with their cyclists. This will hold up the entire entourage of vehicles traveling from Gordons Bay to Claymont. There are over 600 vehicles that have to get from Gordons Bay to Claymont and we need the vehicles to travel at normal traffic speed to get at least past the rails as soon as they can. After Royals, there are some places where vehicles can stop and uh, you can encourage your cyclists along the route, but this is absolutely forbidden between Gordons Bay and Royals. No seconding are, is allowed at all from moving vehicles on the road cycle route. The stand and hand rule applies, so after Royals, uh, seconding vehicles can stop at specified points and hand their cyclists uh, a drink if need be. Just a few pointers on for the road cycle leg. Tri bars are allowed. Time trial bicycles are allowed. Drafting is allowed off other competitors. You are not allowed to draft off your friend who happens to be riding along the route on the day. This has happened before and has led to disqualification. So a drafting only from other competitors. In terms of the end point of the race, the dismount line has to be strictly enforced. You have to dismount your bicycle on the dismount line. This is a very dangerous point. There are lots of cyclists coming in to a very small area, so please cooperate in this regard. Good luck to all the cyclists. I think it's going to be a fantastic leg of the Total Sports Challenge, and we look forward to seeing you in Claymont at the end of the leg.